our tenth problem is a very beautiful problem. We are given if x is less than one, then we need to prove that one upon one plus x plus two x upon one plus x square plus four x cube upon one plus x power four up till infinity. This sum is equal to one upon one minus x. Now you must be thinking that we are given with only one information that x is less than one, and we need to prove this big expression equal to one upon one minus x. So how would we be able to do this question? So the trick behind this question is the terms which are written in the denominators. The differentials are written in the numerators. One plus x has differential equal to one. One plus x square has differential equal to two x. And one plus x power four, the differential is four x cube, which are written in the numerators. So the trick behind this question is consider the following things: one minus x into one plus x equals one minus x square. Now this one minus x square into one plus x square is equal to one minus x power four. Now this one minus x power four. When multiplied by the next term, we get one minus x power eight, and we can very confidently say that the next term in the denominator will be one plus x power eight, which, when multiplied this by this one minus x power eight, we can get one minus x power sixteen. So we'll be kept keep on getting one minus x power two power n terms as we proceed with the problem. So continuing in the same fashion, we get one minus x. Into one plus x, into one plus x square, into one plus x power four, up till one plus x part two power n minus one. This product will be equal to one minus x part two power n, because the last term before this term will be equal to one minus. If this is plus, then this term will be equal to one minus x part two minus n minus one. So these two terms will get clubbed together. A minus b into a plus will be a square minus b square. This is a square, which is equal to one, and this is b square, which will be equal to x part two par n minus one into two, which will be equal to two par n minus one into two, which will be equal to two par n. So rewriting the whole thing again, we get one minus x into one plus x into one plus x square up till one plus x par. 2 par n minus 1. We get this product as 1 minus x par 2 par n. Now again, as I said earlier, if there are large number of functions of x multiplied together, then we need to take ln first and then differentiate. So taking ln both the sides, we get ln of 1 minus x plus ln of 1 plus x plus ln of 1 plus x square is equal to Ln of, or rather, we could do a simpler thing to first. We needed to find the sum up till infinity. So, if we tend n to infinity, then this product becomes one minus x into one plus x into one plus x square up till infinity, and this becomes since x is less than one and any fraction to the power infinity. We know that it is equal to zero, so this becomes equal to one. So now we can take ln both the sides. As we needed to find the sum up till infinity, so we are not taking the ln of this product up till n terms. Rather, we are taking the rather we are finding the product up till infinite terms first, and then taking the ln. If in the question it was mentioned that the product or the sum is up till n terms, then we would have taken ln first and then Differentiated it. Now we take ln both the sides, ln of one minus x plus ln of one plus x plus ln of one plus x square up till infinity is equal to ln one, which is equal to zero. Now we differentiate both the sides to get one upon one minus x into minus one plus one upon one plus x into one. Plus one upon one plus x square into two x. Now we can very obviously and very clearly see that these are terms and these are differentials in the numerator. 
the differential of 1 plus x square is in there in the numerator. 1 upon 1 plus x power 4 into 4x cube. The differential has again appeared in the numerator up till infinity is 0 because differential of 0 is 0. Now, taking this negative term to the right hand side, we get 1 upon 1 plus x plus 2x upon 1 plus x square plus 4x cube upon 1 plus x power 4 up till infinity. This we get as 1 upon 1 minus x and this was the expression which we needed to prove.